All right, picking up with 310. Uh, here in this section, we'll be writing equations of a line, given the following information. Two points on the line, slope and a point, or the graph. Then we can write the equation. Also, we want to find the equation of a new line that's parallel or perpendicular to a given line, to a given point on the line. And then writing equations, graphing lines and inequalities and slopes and whatnot, stuff we've already been doing, uh, will be thrown in here with this. So with that, let's start on problem one. On a map, snapper lane passes through 2, negative 1 and 4, 8. If Miami Ave is perpendicular to snapper lane and passes through 9, 2, what will be the equation of the line representing Miami Ave? Okay, well, let's come over here. Let's start off with a graph. Okay, give us an idea of what we're looking at here. Here's our x. Here's my y. 2, negative 1. There's my first point. The second point's at 4, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's our street that we're talking about. And 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2 is where we want to intersect that. Or I'm sorry, we want to go through that, but we want to be perpendicular right here. Okay, we want to be perpendicular right here. So the first thing we're going to do is find the slope of this line. Take the negative reciprocal so we can find the slope of this line and then use that slope and that point to find uh, the equation of that line. So let's start off here with our first uh, equation. We knew that this is 2, negative 1, and this was 4, 8. So the slope of that line will be 8 minus the negative 1 over 4 minus 2. And we're going to get 9 halves as our slope. So the slope of the perpendicular is going to be the negative reciprocal of that negative 9 over 2. So we're going to take that slope and we're going to take our point 9, 2. And we're going to plug it all into y equals mx plus b and find the equation of our line in slope intercept form. So 2 equals negative 2 ninths times our x9 plus our b, our y intercept. That's what we're trying to find. This cancels out here. I get a negative 2, so I'm going to add 2. 4 equals b. So y equals negative 2 ninths x plus 4. That's the equation of the this line that passes through this point perpendicular to this road or this line. Okay. So when we look back over here, negative 2 ninths x plus 4, there we go. It's b. Okay. Answer b. So... That's a, that's a kicked up problem. It, it is a little tougher, but it's something we've got to be able to do. Okay. Problem two, Naomi earns $150 a week plus $20 per item that she sells, which equation represents the relationship between her pay, P per week, and the number of items she sells. We've been doing stuff like this already, uh, whether it's uh, the price of our gas, uh, price per gallon, how many gallons, and how many nights are we going to stay, and uh, the price per night. Uh, here, it's going to be $20 per item, so it's 20N, plus, there's your plus, your 150. So there's your 20P plus 150, uh, but that's not solving for P. They've got the P and the N backwards. Here, the pay P equals 20 times the number of items plus 150. That looks like it right there. Here, you have the 150 multiplied by the number of items. That's not right. It's supposed to be just a one shot, 150, same here. So your answer is B again right here. Okay, answer B. No real math to that, just knowing what you're looking at, use a little common sense. Problem three. Um, line CD is graphed as shown. There's C, negative 6, negative 1, and D is at 4, 4. What's the X intercept of the line that is perpendicular to line CD at D? So a lot like what we just did. Okay, so we're going to come back over here. We're going to erase this. Okay, we're going to find the slope of our of our first line. So we've got slope is going to be negative one minus four. Difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. Negative six minus four. So we're going to get negative 5 over negative 10. So that's one half. 
So the slope of the perpendicular is going to be 2, negative 2, negative reciprocal, okay? And um, what's that for? Take what you need. All right, so we want to be uh, perpendicular to D. So we've got a slope here. Point D is at 4, 4. It's right there. So let's see, we're going to go through 4, 4. So using our y equals mx plus b. Mm -hmm. So we get 4 equal to negative 2 times 4 plus b. That's a negative 8, so I'm going to add the 8 to both sides to solve for b. So 12 is our b. So our equation now is y equals negative 2x plus 12. So that's the, the line that's perpendicular to the line that's shown there, CD. Now we want the x-intercept. And remember what we talked about with x-intercept, y is 0. So I'm going to make y 0. So I'm going to get negative 2x plus 12. I'm going to subtract the 12 to the other side. I'm going to divide out the negative 2. So I get 6 is my x, my x-intercept. Uh, 6, 0, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, when you put it in the uh, grid again, it's either 6 all the way to the left or 6 all the way to the right. Okay? And uh, you've got that on your answer sheet. Okay, problem four. What is the equation of a line that passes through negative uh, 8, 2 and has a slope of negative 3 fourths? Well, we've, we've been doing some of these already. So we just don't have to do uh, all the other stuff with it. So we start off here, uh, negative 8, 2, m is equal to negative 3 fourths, so y equals mx plus b, so 2 equals negative 3 fourths, my x is negative 8, plus b, 4 goes into itself once, goes into here, negative 2, so I have 2 equals negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, plus b, subtract the 6 over, negative 4 is my b. So y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 4. Okay? And when you go back here, negative 3 fourths x plus 8, negative 3 fourths x minus 4. There we go right there. That's what we're looking for. Okay? Same thing we had. So the answer for 4 is d. And that's where it was. All right? Five, rewrite the equation in standard form. Remember, standard form is ax plus by equals some constant. So we start out with five minus negative five, five equals negative five thirds. I'm sorry. Let me erase that. Y equals negative 5 fifths X minus 6. Okay? And we want to get this in the form of AX plus BY. And we don't want any fractions. So when we get a fraction in here, I think I've already done this once for you before. If you multiply by that common denominator, each term, we'll get rid of that denominator. That'll give us 3Y. The threes here are going to cancel, so I'm going to minus 5x, and then 6 times 3 is 18. Add the 5x over. You can't actually add it to the y, so you just put it just like that. And there's your equation in standard form, and that is b. There you go right there, 5x plus 3y equals negative 18. Okay? So just a little bit of algebra arithmetic there. What is the equation line passing through this point in the slope of 4? Well, we've already done something like that. So we've got negative 2 and negative 5 is our x and our y. Our slope is negative 4. y equals mx plus b. So we're going to get negative 5 equals negative 4 times negative 2 plus b. That's 8, so I'm going to subtract the 8. 
negative 13 is my b. So y equals negative 4x minus 13 is my answer. Uh, now when you look at the answers that are given here, okay, they're all in standard form. But our answer right here is in uh, y-intercept y slope, uh, slope-intercept form. So I'm going to add the 4x to the other side. Now, it's the same equation, but now I'm in standard form. So 4x plus y equals negative 13. Boom, there you go. Your answer is D. Okay? So we had the right one. Just notice the form that they're in and just put this in the form it needs to be. Okay? 7. Given the following graph, identify the equation of the inequality in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept. What's our slope here? Well, to go from this point to this point, it's up 3 and over 2, so 3 halves is my slope. My y-intercept is negative 3. I shaded up to the bigger y's, and I got a dashed line, so that means there's no equal. So y is greater than, oh, that's got an equal, that's y less than, that's y greater than 3 over 2x minus 3. Boom, there we go. There's my up 3 over 2, there's my slope, and there's my y-intercept of negative 3. y is greater than with a dashed line, so the answer is C. Okay, that's where that comes from. Or if that was a solid line, we would include the equal sign. Come on. Okay, problem eight. At Osha Breeze Flea Market, Osha Breeze Flea Market, one vendor sells new and used golf balls by the dozen. They sell the new golf balls for twelve dollars a dozen and used for six dollars a dozen. Jose has $60 to spend on new and used golf balls. The following inequality represents the possible number of dozen new golf balls X and used golf balls Y that Jose can buy. All of this, but they give you the equation, so don't be thrown off because, oh, it's a word problem. They give you the equation. Which graph represents this? Okay, well, let's take a look here. 12X plus 6Y less than or equal to 60, so we know we're going to shade down. Let's get this cleared off here. Um, when we did problems like this in class, we, we and I've already done it, it's in standard form, we used X and Y intercepts. Okay, we did this on an earlier problem. So for the X intercept, make Y equal to zero. So that cancels out, and I get 12x, because 0 times 6 is 0. It's less than or equal to 60. Divide the 12 over, and you get 5. So my x is going to be at 5. My y-intercept, we make x equal to 0. So if x is 0, 12 times 0, that's gone. I get 6y, less than or equal to 60. Divide that out, I get 10. So my x is at 5, and my y is at 10. So when I'm looking here, there I have y at 10 and x at 5. Backwards, right? Um, where'd I go here? Let's see. x at 5, y at 10. x at 5, y at 10. There's it right there. And it's shaded down and it's solid because it's an equal. So there's our answer right there. You'll notice here it's backwards here. And plus they shade it up. We want y less than. This is backwards. This has the x at 10 and the y at 5, and it's shaded down. It's shaded correctly, but the wrong x and y, they're backwards. And this is greater than up here, so it's shaded to the wrong side, so our answer is A. Okay? So there's 310. We'll pick up on 311 and go from there in the next video. Okay, hopefully this is helping you. Use it to your benefit.